Hi, I'm Richard Garcia, president of Monster Games. About 20 years ago, I had the opportunity to get the license to do a NASCAR racing title with Hasbro. Then got a chance to work on a sequel to it, NASCAR Heat 2002. And so looking for something to make a new product that differentiated from everybody else, that's how we started the project Dirt to Daytona. The main goal has been to deliver an authentic NASCAR experience that everyone can enjoy. That was a very successful product to us, but we were kind of disappointed when we finally lost the NASCAR license because I'd always constantly think of like, how was I gonna improve the product, what features I wanna add, and I didn't have the chance to do any more NASCAR racing. About two years ago, I got contacted to do work on a NASCAR product again, NASCAR Heat Evolution. We went and played all the old games. We wanted to build upon our previous experience, our previous feature set, and say, how do we make a better product? When we first got the license back and were able to start working on it, we could go back to watching the races and be like, oh, fantastic, this is really fun for us. Now that we're back revisiting again, we brought back the way that we wanted the AI to behave so that the player can really feel like they're racing against real AI and feel like they're going to each track and they're getting a different experience. A lot of the artists that worked on NASCAR Heat are still here today. So we have a lot of experience that we can go back on because that way we can start to build towards what we were trying to achieve back in Dirt to Daytona. Bobby Labonte was fantastic for us back when we worked on Dirt Daytona. He gave us a lot of really great feedback and helped us shape and mold the game. We have Joey Logano and Ryan Blaney helping us now with the feel of the cars. Yeah, if the drivers jump in and they like it, then we're doing the right thing. And then the players by our game will know that what they're experiencing is what a driver experiences. Check back for more developer diaries as we prepare for the September 13th release of NASCAR Heat Evolution.